In this video, you'll learn how to write a killer YouTube script with the help of ChatGPT. I'll show you not just one, but three different methods for crafting good scripts for your YouTube videos. We'll go through the basic method most people use, the lazy method that can save you some time, and the better way to write a unique script using good prompts. And if you stick till the end, I will show you how to edit it so you can get the best script every time. With that being said, Let's get started with the basic approach. Open ChatGPT and I will type. Write me a video script on this topic. How to make money during recession. Then it gave us the introduction, five subtopics, and the conclusion. This is what many people do, and if I check the length, this is less than 500 words, which is enough for a 3 to 4 minutes video. Let's open a new chat and write it the lazy way. For this, you need to go to YouTube and search for the topic you want to write about. Open one of these videos and find the one you like. So let's talk about how you can win while others are losing. Hi guys, it's Mark. Let's use this Mark video. Then click the three dots here and select Show Transcript. This will show you the text of the video. And to remove these timestamps, click the three dots above and select Toggle Timestamps. Then highlight all of the text and copy it. Go back to ChatGPT and request this. Write me a video script on this topic. Insert your topic here, how to make money during a recession. Then give it more context by saying, use the following script as an inspiration. But my name is Gold, and my channel name is Money Tips. Then write script sample, paste the copied script here and click enter. What this will do is to make ChatGPT write along the script based on the sample you've provided. It will give you the points in the script and add more to it. If it stops writing like this, you can ask it to continue the conclusion. Now let's copy these onto a doc and check the length. It is a 750 word script, which is enough for a six to seven minutes video. And if we check the script, you can see that it gives us the intro using our name and channel name and talk briefly about the topic. Then it writes part one, understanding recession. If we check Mark's video script, we can see that he starts with that as well. And also the definitions are alike, but reworded. Then it writes about some methods, some of which were in the original script and others were not. So that's the lazy way. But the next method is the one I like to use and I think is better to get more from chat GPT. I'll open a new chat once again. And let's say that I'm not familiar with the topic, which I'm not in this case, then I'll go back to YouTube and search for the topic. But instead of copying other people's script, I'll open some of these videos to understand the topic. I'll note the key points and look at their intros. Then, I may also go to Google and read one or two articles on the topic. After that, I can come up with these prompts in a doc, which of course can be tweaked further on ChatGPT. So, Let's start with the first section, which is the intro. I'll copy this and paste it on ChatGPT and then click enter. So my request was this. The topic I want you to write about is how to make money during a recession. First, write me an intro for a video. Then I gave it some context. I asked it to start with a fact and it gave me a fact on how often recession happens. Then I asked it to tell my viewers what they will learn in the video while providing the talking points and it gave me just that. Then I asked it to finish off by welcoming viewers to the channel and asking them to subscribe, which it got wrong by starting with it and repeating at the end. But we will edit this later, so let's move on with the second section. Now, the way I write these prompts is almost like the instruction I'll give to an assistant to write the script for me. So I said, write a section on this. What is a recession and the effect on people? 
and instead of leaving it to write about anything, I gave it more prompt. It should start with sentences that look like this, and it rephrased it to, before we dive into the strategies on how to make money during recession, it's important to understand what a recession is and how it affects people. Then I asked it to give me some jargon and break it to simpler terms, which it did. Then I asked for an example, and it gave me how recession can affect the cost of coffee. And finally, I said it should relate it to the 2008 recession, and it did just that. Now, if you notice, it writes a conclusion on this paragraph, even though I asked it not to, sometimes it may not understand, but we can always edit that later. For the next section, I will make this request first. I want you to give me a list of 10 ways to make money during a recession that can also make one come out stronger and richer. And it goes, sure, here are 10 ways to make money during a recession that can also help you come out stronger and richer. Although I'll use five in this video, it will be easier to choose from the list it gave me. Then I'll copy and paste the next prompt. I structured it to work with each subtopic. So when it says, insert the topic, I'll copy and paste one of these topics. And then click enter. So I requested it to write an intro with a hook or a fact. And it gave me just that with a study by the NBER. I asked it to give the benefits of doing this in a recession, which it did. Then I asked the amount of income this can give in figure, and it came up with some calculations. So I will go ahead and repeat this step for four more subtopics and skip to the next step. The next step is to ask it to write the conclusion, so I will copy and paste this. And also you can ask it to come up with titles like this and also the description for your video, and even the thumbnail idea. So I'll go ahead and copy the heading, and all of the texts it generated onto a Google Doc. Now, if you want to make sure you get a good script, you should make some editing. And the first place to start is the intro. As you can see, it started with greetings, and narrating what the channel is about but it's better to begin the video with a hook and keep that for the end of the intro. So I'll delete this. The next thing is to check the facts it gave you. ChatGPT is so good at spinning up facts, so you may need to do a quick Google search to validate what it says. I've already read about it, and this is correct. Then it says a recession happened in 2020, which is true for some countries during the pandemic. I'll then correct the end of the intro to what it wrote at the start. Now, I will soon skip to the next step, but the main things to edit here are three. Check and correct the facts where necessary. Add some headings to the sections where it doesn't. And then clean up some sentences that don't need to be there, like the conclusion paragraph here. So far, if you gain value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to check out these prompts for your script, I'll share the Google Doc in the description below, which will include the prompt and the edited script. Now that I'm done with that, we can check the length of the script. And it is over 2,000 words, which is enough for a 10 to 12 minutes video. What I'm going to do in the next video is to use this script to create a YouTube video using Canva. If you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will also put the link in the description below when it's available. And by then, you'll be able to watch it on the end screen showing right now. See you there.